I'm here with a different video. Uh, here we have an HP laptop Pavilion 15. This one comes with an iCore 5 9 Gen G4 GTX 1650. We're gonna show you guys how to remove your SSD drive or NVMe drive and how can you add an extra mechanical hard drive or an extra SSD drive on these models. So let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna flip it over and you wanna grab your opening tools. I'm gonna use an iFixit tool set. I'm gonna be using the bit number zero Phillips. These are really good tool sets, they last longer. And what do you want to do first? You want to remove the four screws at the back rubber legs right here, two on each side. They are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, there we go. I put a magnet right on my tip of the screwdriver, so I don't want to magnetize it. I just want to be able to remove them easy. So you can add a magnet or you cannot, depends. Next, you want to remove the three screws right at the front end of the laptop. One in every corner and one in the middle. There we go. These are the same size again. Next, what you want to do, you want to grab a guitar pick because it has a soft edges and it's really hard. So it's not bendable easily. So what you want to do, you want to grab your laptop and open up in 45 degree angle. just like that and you want to stick the guitar pick right between the bottom and the top cover and you want to do some wiggling just wiggle it around twist it and you're going to hear those clicks do the sides and go all the way towards the back right where the rubber legs finishes there's a space right there you want to twist that do on the other side don't use a screwdriver or something sharp, otherwise you're going to damage the plastic and it's going to look really, really ugly. So yeah, once we got the front and the side, what do you want to do? You want to grab the on the back side. On the back side right here underneath, there's a space. You want to stick it right there and you want to twist it. There. Once you got it all the way here, now you're going to feel something is holding right in here. There's a clip right there in the middle that holds the holds it from the battery. So you just want to pull on those and it's just going to release. Sometimes it's harder. Those are these two clips right here. One right there and that one is right there. These two grab it from the every corner of the battery. I don't know why they have it there. So anyway, so down here we can see the M.2 drive SSD here. And there's a, they give you a plastic caddy to put your mechanical drive or your SSD drive and it includes the adapter. So first thing first, let's go with the M.2. Before we do anything, people always say, should I disconnect the battery? You don't need to necessarily disconnect the battery to work on your laptop to remove add components. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do it just by pulling this cable, slide it out. That's the battery cable. So it just got disconnected. Next, you want to remove the M.2 drive by removing only one screw. And then you want to pull it out. That's the heat sink right there. You want to pull it out in 45 degree angle. These are the cheap M.2 drive, just all empty. It just give you one chip right there. It doesn't have any DRAM chip. So you can upgrade it to a better version. The Samsung, they, they give you a really nice one. This is a 512 gigabyte D uh, NVMe drive, and it has a DRAM uh, cache right there, which this one doesn't have a DRAM cache. It just have a one NAT chip right there. There's nothing at the back. This one, they give you a NAT chips, and they give you a controller and a DRAM chip right there. So it's better to have a better one. So they include you this 512 gigabyte single NAT, Anyway, so to pull it on, you want to push it in in 45 degree angle all the way in and push it down. Make sure that you can see the screw hole right there. Grab the heat sink. 
I don't know why you have this heatsink. What is it gonna cool down? Is it gonna cool down the PCB or what? So if unless you have a nice proper NVMe drive here, this is gonna benefit from this heatsink. Press the heatsink right on top, and then grab the screw uh, screw right there. And while you're holding it with one hand, just square back here. And there we have. That's your NVMe drive. I recommend to put the windows on the NVMe drive and you can grab a mechanical disc right here or you can grab an, another SSD drive. I have a mechanical drive right here. The SSD drives are the same size. So what you wanna do, you wanna remove the four screws, two at the back and one right here and the black screw right there. There we go. The only, the, all the white screws are the same size, except the black one is a little bit longer. All right, now what you wanna do, you wanna grab it up, just pull it up. You just have to release this tiny thing that goes under the plastic. And before that, let's go ahead and disconnect the ribbon cable. You're gonna disconnect the ribbon cable right here. Just lift up this hinge, the black one, 90 degrees upward, and pull the cable out. All right, now there we have it. This is an empty plastic. So what you want to do, you want to remove this, there's a little bit of adhesive tape right there, remove it, pull the, uh, the adapter out. Now, it's the rest is really simple. The way it is, the way that your hard job is going to be. You want to remove these four screws from here, two on every side, remove and remove this metal bracket and you're going to attach it on this one right here. So remove this one, put it there. Same thing on the other side. Remove it and place it in here. Once you have it in there, you wanna grab the adapter. It goes only one way in. Match the cut right there. Push it all the way in. And then you can just place the hard drive right in here. And then slide the uh, connector right there. This, this laptop doesn't take uh, thick ones. You have to put a low profile mechanical drive unless you want to put an SSD drive. All the SSD drives are the same size, so any SSD drive will go in here just fine. There's no problem, issue with it, unless you want to put a, a thick mechanical drive. So the best recommendation is, if you want to do a mechanical drive, go with a super thin profile. But if you want to, if you have the budget, you can go with an SSD drive. All the SSD have the same uh, size. They have the same type of connection right there. But make sure you have to have the bracket from here removed and place it on every corner of this one. All right. Just for the demonstration, I did that. So what are we going to do? Imagine this is your hard drive. Place it in here. And lift up this little bit. Slide this underneath the battery. Put it right there. Now you can grab a tweezers. And what do you want to do? You want to slide this one right underneath. And one you is all the way in all underneath, you just want to close this lock right there. And the last thing is to put the four screws that we removed. There we go. And the black one right goes right where the battery is. There we go. Now, and once you've finished everything, you're just gonna slide down the battery jack right in place. There we go, just like that. And then you're gonna grab the bottom cover. And you're gonna put it on top. And you just want to open it up in 45 degree angle a little bit. And you want to pinch the corners. Just pinch them. You want to hear those clicks. And then put it down. Push down the corners right there and the middle back. And if you have anything is popping out slightly like this, you want to just push it down inward and it's gonna align it. All right, and the last thing is to put the long screws at the back end of the laptop and the three short ones right in front of the laptop. 
I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, I appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you have any comments, uh, questions, just leave them in the comment area. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I always answer my questions that people leave. Sometimes it takes me about a day. But I will try to get to them as soon as I can. And I'll really appreciate if you guys subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.